Hello, my name is Bisquid, and today we are playing this. I mean, TIS 100. It's a game that many people have been recommending to me. So when I start the game, it's saying that you should print the TIS 100 reference manual. Well, it's saying here the location of the of the manual to me, but because it's kind of not easy for me to print it because first of all I don't have a printer I took the I took the liberty of taking the manual beforehand and and skim skimming it through it's not very long and also I made a little cheat sheet for myself which should be let's see if I can find it yeah it's here so TIS 100 is a programming game. Apparently it's going to teach me, or it, um, as the case might be, it might, it might be teaching you, Assembler. And I have not played this game before, so this is also going to be a blind experience for me. So this is as far as I have seen before. So let's see what happens here. Do I use mouse here? Probably I do. So create a new pro co program, and I should be reading a value from in.x. What is x? It's here. Okay, is this a self-test? Let's see. Yeah, it, it's getting a value from here. It puts it downwards here. And it is writing to out.a. So it's not actually writing there. Let's see what happens. Running test 1. And it failed. Okay, so it's saying communication failure here. So whatever does that mean? If I say here, uh, move right, actually move up dot right, so what happens then? It says nothing here. Communication va failure. Wow. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. So it should be doing the same in, in both sequences, of course. Yeah, yeah. So I do here the same. Move up, down. Yeah. And actually, I do a move left down, and it should be move. Yeah, move down, right, down, right, and no, up and move. I'm getting the parameter order mixed up here at all times, apparently. So move. Up, down, move up, down, and move down, left. No, move left, down. So this should be doing it, yeah. Is it? No, it's not. Is it? What? Ah, uh, parameter order again. Source is right, source is up, source is up, source is left. And uh, target this right. Still not working right. Wow. Target this left, target this down, target this down, target this right, target this down. Source is down, no, source is up. Alright. Yeah, okay, I, I, I kind of get the picture of what is here. The Make the reverse parameter order here. Yeah, it's it's kind of kind of getting me at all time. 
So let's see, create new program. Okay, that was. Yeah, but that's the tutorial or the tutorial thing. Return to the segment list. Specification editor. Here, a signal amplifier. Let's see what does that do. Read a value from in.a, double the value, write the value to out.a. Alright. So move uh, up to ack. Add ack. Yeah, this is actually. I don't remember who it was. I, I think it was Matt Hobson or someone who. What? Yeah, JRO. Who was asking me about assembler and this is quite kind of really minimal and it's kind of similar to what I was what I told he, him about how assembler works you have here these very pri primitive assembler commands like move something from from a register to another register do not do anything swap to register save register into another register add something into register, subtract something from a re register, negate a re value, jump into some location, and jump conditionally and also apparently some kind of jump relative command. And there's, th there's also a visualization thing which probably I will learn later. So let's see. So again I have to move things. Mm. So move, Back right. So I, ha I have have to communicate in in this kind of sequence manner, which is kind of weird. Down, left, move, down, no. Source and destination. Source and destination. It always gets me. Source is like like that, and the source is up. And source is up and run. Yeah. Cycle count. Wow. Oh yes. I can actually improve this, I suppose. Really? Can I? Can I actually? I suppose I should be able to improve this in somehow. Yeah, a great part, great part in this program is um, in this game is optimization. Quite a heavy weight this on op optimization. So let's see. Do I need this? Can I actually? What happens if I do add up? Alright, so that doesn't actually work. Stop. What happens actually if I do that? Yeah, it doesn't work like that. Alright. So that's what it should be doing, and it's working. But for some reason it's 160 cycles and that's not the best possible thing. Which is weird. Let's see again. Add accumulator. What am I missing here? Accumulator is zero. So on. I suppose each of these modules have their own registers here. Yeah, they do. Any. If I use any, it puts it in any of these. If I do this. Yeah, I'm not get getting a cycle count here. Okay, so that doesn't work. But what am I missing here?
Let's try this. Nope. <laughs> wow. I'm afraid I have to leave that bay because I'm getting too long stuck there, but somehow I'm missing something there. This is not off to a great, great start here. Differential converter. Alright, so I have to read a value from here. And from here. And uh... Move, let's see. Save and subtract right. And uh, this is going to be so sequential, but let's see anyway. So it's putting one of the values down here and move. Uh, Move up to down, move up to down. Right. And then it, the back has the original value before things happened, so move right, not swap, move react dot right. Then subal left. Neg, move up. Let's see if this works. Okay, things are not happening as they should. Oh, right. I have to send to the value. Move uh, left. Yeah. Alright, it didn't work right. Wow. Right, so I have to actually use the accumulator here again. Move up, back. Yeah, let's try that again. Alright, and then I have to do away with the negation here, I suppose. Yeah, that works. Except it's really slow. Continue editing this segment. Yeah, I can see where the game is going now. It's a... It's a really optimization game. So I used six nodes here, and compared to other people... Yeah, some people are getting it done with five instruct five nodes here. Yeah. I suppose I will move on and continue with this when I'm more experienced. So when I learn more tricks I can optimize them better. Better better doing that way than than to get stuck in the, in one thing for a long time. So read thing, right to 
So it's a comparison comparison thing. Alright, so I can't use these nodes here. When A1 is not written to an output, right? A. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so. Let's see. So take the number from left into accumulator and also send it to right. Then pro pro probably should send do that here. And if it is greater than zero then the I know it's undefined. Source and down. Hmm. Do I? What kind of instructions do I have for, for literal values? Do I? Can I use literals? Let's see. I know this is failing, but yeah, it. I think it is actually compiling. So this should work. So let's try that again. Copy this. Paste here. Paste here. And uh, this should be left less. And this should be right. Let's see. Undefined label. Hmm. Right, because I also need the begin label here. Run. So nothing is actually working here. Right, because I actually need to do this. <laughs> oh, it's stopping somewhere. And why is that? Oh, uh, because, yeah, I shouldn't do this here. Can I comment things like that? Yes, I can. All right, so it actually worked exactly as it should. Can I do it any better? Well, let's, let's not waste the time there thinking about that kind of things. Let's move on. Signal multiplexer. Read values from A and B. Read a value from S. Okay, so when S is 1, Write B when S is minus 1, write A, and when S is... Okay. Alright. So, let's take this, and... Uh, and all the values are minus 1 or plus 1. So I don't need, I don't need to take care of... Um, comparing to literal minus one or so on so uh, 
actually, because I always need to do other arithmetics with. Yeah, let's let's do this. So in the case of zero, we to we take both. When it's minus, we take this. Yeah, that works. But we need to read. Slots here. <laughs> Interface screw. So, yeah, I'm reading both, I'm reading both, and here I'm not reading both. That works. Up into left and move up into right. And run it. And it's not working. Why is that? Mm, it's reading left, it's reading right. It's reading right and left. It's reading left and right. And it's not working. Huh. All right, now I understand what this can be used for. it is well yeah I suppose it could be used like that hmm well I don't know let's try this anyway so this is going to move to right and this is going to move to left and this take it up and so on yeah it should work Oh, of course. Nah. Actually, I have this input keys here. I should be learning to use them. And what does this quick reference? Oh, yeah. So anyway, stop that. What? F. Which key is stop? I don't know which key is stop. So have to up to like so and uh, run it and actually run it quickly. Yeah, and my code is slower than theirs. No, I'm not taking that. Have to try something better. Because I know I can use this JRO instruction here for my bit of for my good. So let's see. Hmm. Hmm. 
might this work? Let's see. And actually, can I use back in some manner? I don't know. Let's see. Well, anyway, this is going to be one way of doing things. So I have to multiply this by three. Hmm. Could it work? Could it work? Jero buck. Actually, but no, I can't use buck here. The only way to use buck is... Does this work? Let's see. No, buck doesn't work there. Mm, that is nasty. Hmm. But I can use one of these as... Let's see. I can use these things as storage. That's going to be interesting. <laughs> For that, does it work now? By the way, no, it doesn't because I need I need it to multiply it by three, and I'm only multiplying it by two. So, so much for that. Unless I multiply by. Uh, I mean four. Well, that's too many instructions. So no. Yeah. So, just in case, let's let's verif verify whether whether this works. Nope. Nope. Blah. So let's get the original way back. Is probably the wrong way here. Yeah, it's the wrong way. Um. 
Yeah, I'm getting more cycles here than my competitors here, but such is the life. Sequence generator. Sequences are zero terminated read values from A and B, write the lesser value to A out, write the greater value to out, write O to end the sequence. So obviously I need to begin with this. And there could be one that generates hmm I see what the Steam reviews said about this game what they mean by saying that most of the task you need tasks you need to do here are are about circumventing the limitations of this machine because yeah so, let's back up this, actually back up it, and take the other value. button which switch to switch between these windows because my mouse is not working really really nice here and uh, I hate using mouse here if I could jump with between windows it would be so much nicer so If the sequence is positive, and here if the sequence is negative, J like that. No. Okay. And these values are not always ideal. Not always. Mm, different and actually let's see I need two neighbors here. I need one node that takes value from there and takes value from there from either source. Well, let's do it this way anyway. So move right. Actually, I don't only need this. So move down. Also need to take care of the equal case. Let's see, this should work. So move.
And actually, I don't really need this much. Let's see. Hmm. Crap. Doesn't work this way. Well, That's not nice, but let's see. Okay, it doesn't work. Oh, I see, they are both doing that thing. So one has minus. 25 and my one has plus 25 and that's not right Uh, no, that doesn't work. Well, let's see. Anyway. Mm, nope. Why does it not work? Right, because I'm again doing things in the wrong order. So. Alright. No worky, no worky. That is actually right. Isn't it? No, because I'm doing it in the wrong order. And I also should be writing zero, so... Right, so let's try again. Nope. So let's see what happens here. Mm. I'm backing up the number. Uh, I'm taking the No, that's not right. Is that right? Okay. So now back yeah, is original and R uh, is difference. But I also need the original number, not not just the difference. Bah. I need to discard the value and it also needs to be 
it needs to be sending the value twice once for calculation and again for getting the original value of course that's not the only possible way to do it yeah these puzzles are getting quite devious here mm. also I just paid attention to that this game also doesn't have any music hmm. it's quite a minimal game let's see if this is there any way to quit a puzzle here mm, can't find it yeah so anyway I have to take the original value I could use this as storage I suppose Let's try that. Hmm. So anyway, take the and also save it. And now subtract that. And take the My original value, I needed it, need it here. So left save it so left because I don't I don't want to read from each other more than once. to read ones from left let's try that and left is actually mm. <laughs> I'm 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 getting so confused here. <laughs> I'm saving this value into here. I'm doing. 
and I'm also subtracting this, but I also need to save it. So and I also need to send it over there. Let's see, so now at this point my original value my original value is in backup and their original value is in left which has already been read once Yes. So and I already totally forgot what I said. So that should work. Up. So I put these parameters in the wrong order once again. Nope. Because this is not right. Sending this there. Actually, I don't need this. I could just do this and send it to left twice. So, save the original value. Now it works except everything is in the wrong order, but that is easy to fix. Alright, and I, again I lost. Again I'm, I'm worse than 
other people. Of course, I know why it's why it's so. So let's put it those that way and these here and. this I can delete and swap here right and right no right and swap here left and left and left right little bit better here except okay so here I'm better than the others but not here and not here Well, this is redundant. I know that much. I'm getting there. I beat someone. <laughs> so, this game is all about optimization. needed. Swap. I didn't know the cycle counts here. Does every instruction count for one, one cycle? I don't know. about this. Source is this. Why does it not work? Okay, so just once. Yeah. That is little bit fewer instructions here. But in terms of cycle count, I'm still not quite there. Hmm. Why is that? Is this faster right away? No. One, two, three, four, five. No, it's not faster, okay. Well, anyway, I think this is about it. Yeah, I can't see any way to make it faster. I could use nil here, but that's just not going to make a difference. Yeah, it's not making a difference. Well, anyway, I think I'm done with that segment. So, next one is here, a sequence counter. Sequence is a zero terminated. Read the sequence from in, write the sum to out. Okay. And length to 
links to here and some to here. Okay. And there's many sequences, okay. So going to sum the number of these one that should work And pretty much the same is happening here, except Wow, I need to use left side as storage. Does that work? No. Let's see. Try this. So begin with zero, send it there. Take accumulator. If it is zero, it's a special case. And if it's not a zero, it is like this. Mm. 
Let's try this. Nope. Hmm. What? <laughs> Let's try again. So Um, how are you expecting this? What? I don't think I understand the task here. Oh yeah, I'm not supposed to write a zero there, of course. I'm stupid. I'm stupid here. So Yeah, that's what I'm supposed to do. So I'm not supposed to send it each individual value here. I'm supposed to send only the sums. Add left. Here, send. The sum here. Yeah, that might work. Yeah, that one works, but the other one doesn't. Yeah. That works. And I'm a little better than someone here. Alright, that works. Read a value in. Compare value to previous value. Write one if changed by zero or more. If not true, write zero instead. Alright, so I have to keep the previous value from s in somewhere. Hmm. If changed by zero or more. How many are there these tasks by the way? Hmm. Is there any way to terminate this without completing the task? And no. Oh yes, there is. Return to segment list. Okay. Specification editor. What does this do? Create new specification. Oh, I see. Yeah, I can create my own puzzles here. Yeah. This 100 segment map. Repair more, repair more, repair more, repair more. I don't know what these are. Repair 100 more. Oh, I see. I have to do these tasks a number of times so I can repair these nodes. Okay, I see I see what's going on here. But anyway, I think that is that is it for this video. You can see kind of what kind of game this this is.
So I hope you, enjoy, you enjoyed this. This is quite an interesting game. It teaches you about programming. It really does teach you about programming, even even though you kind of don't have sub programs here because, um, well, you don't have a call a JSR instruction where you can jump into some location and then return back. You can kind of simulate it with this one. It gets really difficult, I believe. But yeah, but anyway, this kind of effectively teaches you how assembler programming works with a twist to it. In real programming, you don't have this kind of environment where you have these cells and and uh, each are communic communicating in this cumbersome ma manner. And the programs you are writing are much longer than these fi 15 instructions, but yeah, it, it's kind of the same principle. So, for learning purposes, this is really great. And the, and the way you compete with uh, other players on your friend lists, Steam friend list, and see what kind of pr results they got and so on, it's there's a competitive aspect to, the, to this, and I suppose to some people it is really quite engaging, and you can really lose lose a lot of time here. I was planning to make uh, make here a maybe 20 minute video, but I ended up making 70 minute video here. So you can see it's it's kind of engaging, and you lose l lose a lot of time really quickly. So it's kind of interesting in that, in that manner. So the game actually, it it um, let's see how 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 large is this, is it actually? Steam Steam apps, come on this this. So the game is taking eighty one megabytes of disk space. So that is really not much. It seems to be written in uh, C sharp because it's run in mono. <coughs> And it's also using Unity, as many of these games that I have recently played seem to be doing the same thing. It's created by these people here, really small the small team here, not many names here. Same people who have created the game like Space Chem and uh, what else is there? I can't really remember. I'm not paying much attention attention to those but yeah it's a good product I paid about four euros for this or was it three and a half because it's in 50% sales right now and uh, I think it was a good price so anyway thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this and see you next time